morning, everybody. <laughs> Shawnee, there you go. JK, yo yo, Ryan, right, right, mate. Nice, uh, nice bit of 350 yesterday. Yeah, it was good. Skills. So Shawnee today has brought down his pretty sick. You're gonna do your little. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's brought his pretty, pretty sick uh, GT86. Yeah. So this isn't a conventional GT86. No, this um, it's a special edition. It's called the Aero Pack. Uh, they only made it 192 for the UK market. Um, and this is one of them. Four colours, yellow, black, red and white. And white. Yours being white. Yeah. I can tell oh, that I'm good at reading colours. <laughs> one of my attributes. Oh, it's just that bright light, man. It's actually black. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the main difference then between so this and the GC86? The main difference is it's just like styling, body styling. So this being an aero has obviously got a different... Is the front bumper different or is it just this kind of splitter at it's the bottom? Just, just this lip that goes around the bottom ah, I see, here, yeah. And that, the splitter. And this, the bit, and this little bit as well? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's all part of it. And then the canards? Uh, they're password JDM. Okay, cool. Yeah. Not not factory. Nah, I just put them on just for a bit of show. And then we'll what? Show no go. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. And then what about the side skirts? Uh, they're also the aero side skirts. Yeah, uh, they do sort of extend the car quite nicely, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. They. Uh, I don't know. They're quite rare as well, so I don't really want to muck them up. Do you say. do many skids? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, it does, man. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Got it, you must do. This sticker says you do. Is that Jake put that there? <laughs> Don't listen to him. Obviously one of the major differences with this is the wing. The big nurse which is wing. massive. Yeah. It's, it's not similar to the TRD one, is it? They're, no. they're a lot smaller. The TRD one is a bit bigger than the factory one. It's like a little little duck bill that sweeps up like that yeah. on the top of the boot lid, yeah. But and this nothing is, like this. This is standard on the on the aero. Yeah, yeah, standard on the aero. It's pretty hench, isn't it? What's the what's the horsepower of this? So it says two hundred from factory, but obviously by the time it gets through the drivetrain and stuff, it's probably only about 160 wheel. Yeah, are they what they 200 that fly from factory? Yeah, two. This is a bit more than that because I've got full exhaust and induction, but. Ah, oh, fair. Yeah, bit, bit over 200. Oh, they're not bad though, to be fair. I mean, they, they're about the sort of same speed as the Civic Type yeah, R's, really. They don't really, weigh like, a lot either, do they? Nah. Uh, weigh nothing. It, it, like, they only weigh 1250. Which so, is pretty, pretty light. You know, Chris Drift, yeah. he's got a pretty sick turbo one of these yeah, with about 350 savage. horsepower and it's pretty savage. Yeah, that's what I'm looking to do hopefully soon. Eventually, yeah. yeah. Big if, big money to do that, it man. It is, yeah. I was going to say, if Fensport or t uh, Tuning Developments could sponsor me, that'd be really nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think you better write them a kind letter, man. Yeah, no, I might have to. <laughs> and you were saying these have also got like a sort of near-perfect 50-50 weight distribution. Yeah, no, they have, yeah, 50-50 weight distribution. Hence why everyone loves using them for, for skids. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, really You've done good. many drifts in it yourself? Uh, no, I wanted to start doing some drift days, though, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. It's quite an expensive car to learn in. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's too clean, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to say, clean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare go near this, man. Yeah. So you mentioned you've got a couple of breathing mods in this. I can see 
you've got a blitz air filter and blitz intake yeah full blitz power air cleaner intake uh down through to i've only got stock header at the moment and then decat second pipe which is from blitz and then a mali and cat back got a Cusco strut brace along here. These do normally come with a brace, don't they? Yeah, they've got the little factory braces that bolt onto the firewall. Onto the bulkhead, on, yeah. yeah. And then what about coilovers and suspension? I've got HSD Monopros on at the moment. Okay, Justin coilovers. Yes. What's so, the mileage on this? 18,000. 18,000 mile. And yeah. have you had it since new? Or did you buy it No, I bought it, uh, it was a factory demonstrator model. Oh, fair play. So it had 4,000 miles on to start with. So I got rid of the Price. To be fair, when we were coming with Jake in the old Civic Type R, it was pretty close, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. What, what are these weigh? One point. This is 1250 kilos. And what do you reckon? This, what do you reckon the old Type About R weighs? Same. About the same? Yeah, they're Maybe quite light. A little to bit be less. Fair, yeah. 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 One thing we missed as well is the lights. If I take the light away, they look pretty, pretty yummy. Yeah. What, what lights are they? Uh, they're the Valenti sequential tail lights, the smoke ones. Uh, and the indicator is actually sweet. Oh uh, yeah, sick. Yeah, man. I noticed you've got some banging decals on the back. Yeah. Especially this one here. Absolute legend. Oh, look. Whoa. Patreon.com. Paul <laughs> Sash. <laughs> Monkey London. <laughs> nom, nom. And the, um, the interiors are quite nice on these. Is, is, they, is most of it leather? Because you've got leather steering wheel, we've got leather gear gates yeah, and leather yes. handbrake. Full, full leather. Yeah, man. Full leather leather yeah. centre console. Nice, yeah. cosy. Like, they're almost like bucket seats, really. I do like, like Chris said, I do like the factory seats. Yeah. They are really comfy. Yeah. So there's no real need to put like a, even though it'd be cool to have a bride seat in yeah. there. There's you no find, real need. You find the bolsters hold you quite nicely? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Nice, 100%. The gauge cluster is pretty neat looking as well, isn't it? Yeah, with a big tachometer in the middle. Yeah. It's quite nice to see when you're driving. Yeah, and all digital as well. Yeah. yeah nice place to be, man. Nice. That's Shawnee's um, Instagram. So, yeah, if you guys want to give him a little follow, feel free. While we're here, we'll quickly show you Jake's bad boy new daily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What sort of horsepower is she? She's stock. Yeah, about 200. About 200, yeah. yeah so. Something like that, two, two tanks. I think we really should do a proper video on this. Yeah. A night of VTEC. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> a romantic night for two with VTEC. Yeah. <laughs> we've done the engine, we've done the body kit, done the interior. What about the wheels? Uh, so they're 18 inch pro grid drifts. And what what width? Uh, eight and a half front, nine and a half rear. And offsets? Uh, ET35. Okay, I thought it'd be quite oh, useful for anyone that's watching that's maybe got a GT86 and yeah. want to know I mean, what the fit. perfect fitment is, I think, is ET38, 9.5. Okay. Yeah, I think that's pretty spot on. Cool, that's man. what all the 86 are saying. Oh, yeah. Hey, shut up. Hey. Nice glasses, man. You look Good like morning, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, should we go and take it for a little rip? Yeah, let's go. Sick. Let's do it. We're actually quite interested to hear from you guys. Do you prefer the sound of the Civic Type R? <laughs> or do you prefer the sound of the GT86? We're going to be doing a video on Jake's car in the next couple of days so you can have a proper comparison. Um, but yeah, let us know below. Yeah.